this was the most dramatic puzzle competition yet. Welcome everyone to the 2024 USA Jigsaw Nationals. Just a few weeks ago was the National Jigsaw Puzzle Championships 2024 and so much happened, just wait. But as a little background, the first nationals in this current wave of speed puzzling happened in November of 2022. That was my first ever competition. And it was the one where I both dropped half of my edge and won second place in individual. Oh, I'm absolutely shaking. <laughs> then they waited a year and a half to have this one. So there was no Nationals 2023. Uh, don't worry, you didn't miss anything. So if you're new here, here, it's very simple. There is an individual round, a pairs round, and a teams round. Everybody in each heat gets the same puzzle, and whoever finishes it first is the winner. So here is the full schedule, and in this video I'll be covering all of the preliminary rounds. So once again, thank you to Ravensburger for sponsoring this video. They also supplied all of the puzzles for the competition, and they covered my travel and camera person expenses. So day one was the three individual preliminaries. For these rounds, we have two hours to solve a 500 piece puzzle. So here is the puzzle for this round. All of the puzzles used in this entire competition are unreleased, so none of us will have ever done them before. And for these individual preliminary rounds, they made limited edition puzzles using stock photos. So I was off to the side trying to stay out of the way, using my phone to zoom in and try to see what the puzzle was. This one has a lot of different colors and textures, so you can do a lot of sorting, and it's a very doable one for a competition. So who is in this event? We've got Sarah Schuler, who just dominated at Winter Carnival. And you might remember last year, she gave Alejandro a run for his money at the world's semifinals. At about seven minutes in, she has pretty much the entire edge done. At the table right next to her is Kathy Reuter. She and her sister Jean won pairs in 2022 by several minutes, and they also just won the pairs competition at Winter Carnival. Sharing her table is Lauren Kotz, who is the number one ranked puzzler in the United States. She's also Sarah's pairs partner, which means she also did amazing at Winter Carnival. But it's interesting that they're putting pair against pair. Now, it's also interesting to look at the different strategies. You can see Sarah did the entire edge while Mari is working section by section. And similarly, Kathy started with the edge while Lauren is working out from that blue corner. So at 24 minutes, we can see Kathy doing a 
pro puzzler move. She disconnects part of the edge so she can just push the extra pieces out instead of having to pick all of them up individually. Luckily, Ravensburger puzzles stay together well enough that you can just pick up a section of the edge and move it around. Oh, but then the live stream gets a look at Abby and she is doing very well. You can see how she's sitting all the way in the back. So the organizer is trying to put the known fast people up front, but sometimes new people surprise us and just blow everyone away with how fast they are. And we're actually gonna see a little more of that later on. So coming up on 40 minutes, Sarah's puzzle is looking very solid. And so is Kathy's. They both just have that middle section left and this is where it's gonna start going very fast. Oh, Kathy Reuter! Oh, wow! Oh, what oh, seconds! Oh my gosh, that was incredible. What was the difference? Like two seconds? I have no clue. I was like, did I come first or second? <laughs> Okay, that was so close. Kathy finished at 46.50, and then Sarah finished at 46.53, truly down to the second. But everyone else is still puzzling. So about 90 seconds later, Lauren finishes for third, and a minute after that, Abby finishes for fourth. Abby, so is this your first national championship? No, Were you actually, here in 2022? I, I competed la last time. Oh. I was 16. It was literally like two days before That's my right. seventh, now my I seventh remember. Yes, birthday. Yeah, yeah. And I got 24th overall, mm -hmm. which mm -hmm. I was like super happy about. It was just like awesome. Yeah. And I thought, okay, I want to at least try to place a little bit better. And I just couldn't believe that I got like top five. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. That's huge. Oh my gosh, so many people just killing it here and getting in under an hour. It's a tough puzzle to do in that amount of time. Nice work, Josh. Pickle Quiet Robin finish. He, nobody's yelling and screaming. I think I would yell and scream if I finished. I'd be like, <laughs> look at me, look at me, I'm done. <laughs> Okay, so let's take a look at the data. 12 people finished this one in under an hour, and Kathy and Sarah were the only ones who were right on top of each other. Then we can look at everybody's finish times. So you can see that 79 people finished and 19 didn't. And then it's the top 33 puzzlers 
who make it through to the final. So to make it through, you had to finish by an hour 15. Oh my gosh, I just realized I have a clear view of Andrea Peng and Becca Taylor. <laughs> I'm just gonna feel really bad about myself this whole time. Three, two, one, Pablo! Ooh, oh wow, oh that's a lot of the same colors. Okay, a lot of green. Uh, okay, we have some horizontal lines. Oh boy. So here's the puzzle we got. Now, at first glance, it looks okay. There are a lot of bright colors, different textures, but the tricky thing is that all of it is just mixed together. You just have these little sections of color all over the place. So I finished flipping at about three and a half minutes, and then I started on the edge, which took me until about nine minutes. Everything is pretty standard so far, but then things started getting trickier. But before I get into all of that, let's see who else was in this round. We've got Evie, who was my pairs partner at Worlds. And then sharing a table is Becca Taylor, who is super fast, and Andrea Peng, who just got fourth place at Worlds. She is one of the fastest puzzlers, not just in the country, but in the world. And then we've also got Jean Reuter. Her sister Kathy just won the first prelim, and she is equally as fast. So at about 13 minutes, you can see that I've done the broccoli. That's what pretty much everyone started with since it was easily the most distinct texture. I also sorted out all of the yellows and I swear like seven times throughout this puzzle I would just look at the yellows and be like okay this time I'm going to finish them and then make no progress. You can see how the overhead lights caused a lot of glare, so the brightest colors really stood out, and a lot of the detail on the darker pieces got pretty washed out. By this point, I think we were all realizing that this puzzle was much more difficult than the first round. So at 20 minutes, let's check in and see how everyone is doing. Jean has not done the entire edge. Uh, she did separate out the yellows, but she seems to be working on other elements. Becca has the edge done and seems to have done a lot of color sorting. Andrea hasn't done the top edge, but she actually has gotten some of the yellows in place. And here's the thing with this puzzle. Looking at it now, I would start with completely different sections, like the shelves and the bowls. But in the moment, the bright yellows and reds were singing out a siren song that I got tricked by and I kept trying to get them in place even though it's not the easiest section to start with. I do think it's fun to throw something hard in there and challenge people. That's right, right. kind of the point. You know, you're at a national championship. 
the level of competition needs to be at a certain, you know, at a certain height, so to speak. So we right. want to we want to push folks and challenge them and, you know, kind of make them work for it, so to speak. <laughs> So at 43 minutes, we can check in on all of the super fast puzzlers, and it's wild that they still have this much to go. It just goes to show just how hard this puzzle is. And this is the point where I was really not feeling well. It felt like this puzzle was going so slowly. And I still had more yellow pieces left. I was getting very stressed, which made me get overheated and a little nauseous. I was honestly getting worried that I might not even make it into the finals. But I just kept trying to remind myself that if I'm having this much trouble with it, that everyone else probably is too. But don't worry, all of the rest of the puzzles that we did this weekend, I loved. It was just this one. It didn't really do it for me. So finally, at 50 minutes, it looks like Jean is heading into the home stretch and Andrea isn't too far behind. work, Jean. So it's Jean Reuter who won this one, which means that both she and her sister got first place in their preliminary rounds. They did so well, and I cannot wait to see them go up against each other in the final. So here's where I was when she finished. Definitely making progress but not even close to finishing. But as we saw, Andrea Pang was almost there too. On the live stream, they put us up on a split screen. Thanks, <laughs> thanks for that guys. <laughs> so That's quick, there, there it is. is. 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50. Yeah. Fantastic work. So it was two and a half minutes later that Andrea Peng finished for second, and she was the only other person to finish in under an hour. Then Becca Taylor finished for third. And then a bunch of people all started finishing in a row. Oh, I'm seeing a lot of action happen in your Karen here too. Karen Puzzles is getting close. Oh, 
Oh, she yeah. just finished. Oh my gosh, and she finished in silence. I didn't know she finished, but Karen just she got done there. She didn't yell or so anything. You no, know, like she that. didn't yell. She just kind of collapsed. Yeah. <laughs> I'm never doing a puzzle again. That was my last one. I'm done. <laughs> so brutal. That was brutal. I think, was I seventh? I, I wasn't top six. Seventh? Okay, that's fine. I made the finals. I was worried I might not even make the finals. <laughs> Look, my timer ran out of battery as soon as I finished this puzzle. I have no time. <laughs> So I got seventh place at an hour and 11 minutes. That was a little longer than I expected it to take. And I was so exhausted by the end, but I made it into the final and that's all that matters. Were you just like, why couldn't I have been in division one? <laughs> well, I feel like at Worlds, I got so lucky by getting yes. the easiest yeah, prelim it's karma. puzzle. So now like I have to get the hardest one. <laughs> so let's look at the data. You can see how Jean, Andrea, and Becca were way out there ahead of everyone else. Oh, and look, 15th place had a perfect tie. And then looking at everyone, almost half of the puzzlers didn't finish. That's wild. This one was so hard. So the last person to qualify for the finals finished at an hour 38. And actually, for this one, since so many people didn't finish, we can flip this chart around and look at how many pieces they managed to put in. Almost everyone did have more than half of the puzzle done, but I mean, yeah, that was a lot. <laughs> Let's hope the next one is not this hard. We're gonna start from five, four, three, two, one, puzzle! So once again, I was off to the side trying to zoom in and catch a glimpse at the puzzle image. Group C got a photo of sushi, and immediately I knew that it would be so much easier because there are larger individual sections to separate out. In this round is Yvonne, and there was no pressure on her because since she won the 2022 Nationals, she's automatically moving on to the finals, but she still had to do the puzzle. And then sharing the power table up front is Tiffany and Kelly Walter. Tiffany is my pairs partner and she is super fast. And Kelly got fourth place at the last nationals and has only been improving from there. She is also very, very fast. But then I started hearing whispers about a teenage girl sitting all the way in the back who was keeping up with the pros. This is Alice Rowe, and she is definitely someone to keep an eye on. So now that we're 13 minutes in, we can start to see some differences in strategy. Kelly started with the green mat, while Tiffany did the whole edge and is doing the green cups. Oh, and this is my favorite table. Look at Dawn working from the inside out while her table partner, Liz, does a much more traditional edge first solve.
Okay, we're 38 minutes in, and it's Kelly and Alice who have raced ahead and are battling it out for that first place spot. Nobody saw Alice coming. This is so exciting. so nerve-wracking when you get to this point it's you, you don't know you feel the people standing around you you know you're getting close your hands get so shaky Sore. and sweaty Start 40, the 10 second 19. timer. She looking around. She is looking and around. And 48-29. There she goes. So it was Kelly who won this one. Now she seemed to be missing a piece. So they started a 10 second countdown while she looked around. She didn't find the piece within those 10 seconds. So her official time was recorded at 48.28. But she told me later to look closely at the live stream footage because you can see the piece sitting there in the corner, but it was so dark that she just couldn't see it from her angle. So she did find it, but it was after her time was recorded. But then if we run back over to Alice, she is just about to finish. She finished at 49.08, which is only 40 seconds after Kelly. This is giving me flashbacks to when Kati almost beat Alejandro at Worlds. Like, you just never know when a new prodigy is going to show up and blow everyone away. So after all of that excitement, we still have a lot of fast puzzlers who are almost done. About five minutes later, Hannah Sigler finishes for third. And then about 90 seconds after that, Hannah Scott and Tiffany have a perfect tie for fourth. It is always wild when two people finish at the exact same time, like down to the second. So, how do you feel? I don't know, sort of in shock. I actually was zoning out and I didn't actually hear the first round. Of oh, really? <laughs> so is this your first competition, Alice? There's a local company called Missing Peace and they do like okay. not very formal. I don't know. I've done a couple of those, but this is definitely my first like real competition. Okay. Yeah. Well, congratulations because that's you. quite an accomplishment. Okay. So before I get to the data, there's just one more interesting thing that happened. So Kyle finishes for 12th place, but he has four missing pieces. But before anyone gets too concerned, we can jump ahead 15 minutes to when his table partner, Amanda, finishes. And what are those? <laughs> 
somehow their pieces must have gotten mixed up, which is always a risk when you're sharing a table. I asked Kyle about it and he said that it wasn't anyone's fault. Their pieces just got a little too close together and they got a bit mixed up. So, okay, now let's look at the data. We can see that the top three were pretty far ahead and then a bunch finish all around the same time, including that perfect tie for fourth place. And then when we look at everyone, exactly three quarters of the puzzlers finished, which is much better ratio than that second puzzle. And this time the top 34 made it through since Yvonne automatically advanced. So the time to get into the finals was an hour 20. So then we can combine all three puzzles to see the finish times of all 100 finalists. That first puzzle definitely seems to be the fastest then the sushi puzzle, and then the vegetables were much harder. However, we can't really compare those times since the images are different. So my sister Katie helped me make this chart, which normalizes all of the times by comparing them against the fastest time for each puzzle. So for this one, it becomes much more evenly distributed. So then here's one more look at the finishers versus not finishers. And again, we can see how that second puzzle was much more difficult, but it doesn't really make a difference because you're only racing against the other people in your round. So we have made it to day two. It's time for the pairs preliminary rounds to find out who's gonna make it into the final. For the pairs prelims, we once again have two hours to solve a 500 piece puzzle. Although I'll let you know right now that the fastest pairs go way faster than that. So up first in prelim A, I am puzzling with Tiffany. Okay, Tiffany, how are you feeling? <laughs> well, I didn't realize that like all the fast people are also in this division. The Reuters, Sarah and Lauren, uh, Dawn and Andrea, uh, Gray and Kat. Oh my gosh, this, this is a lot. It's gonna be motivating. But you're not looking at them, I'm looking at them. Yeah. So, try not to. <laughs> well, we'll be great. We'll be great. Yeah. We, got yes. we got this. We got this. Wait, who's doing bag okay. box? You pull yeah, bag, I'll, grab, I'll pull box. I'll grab the box top and put it here. Yep, and then I'll drop the box bottom and open to so the same bo way. So bottom edge here, top edge here, yep. pieces here. Yes, okay. That was a very rushed, like, cramming for a I test <laughs> plan of what we're doing. <laughs> this chaos is not part of our mind view. We're just not, no. don't pay attention to anything. We're, you we're just me. here. Yeah. <laughs> Remember, we're gonna solve any puzzle with no trouble. Uh, any puzzle. <laughs> I feel like a little <laughs> No trouble. All right, everyone. Who's ready to puzzle? Five, four, three, two, one, go! Ooh, okay, okay. Fun. it's busy, it's busy. Ooh, uh, I like the red at the bottom and I like the purple at the top. And I don't like anything in the middle. Oh wait, there's one right in front of you. Yeah. And there's some under here. Okay, that sorry. Everything? That was really bad, huh? That's okay, that's okay. So, okay. Here is the puzzle that we got. It's called Jazzy with Art by Greg Peprocki. It's busy, but it's a flat illustration with clear lines between all of the colors. So it's definitely easier than the dark photos from the individual rounds. How much time should I try looking for that piece I dropped? Like uh, nothing or a little bit? No, we'll, okay. we'll just go, we'll just go. Okay. If you're feeling overwhelmed and you need a sec, just okay. glance down. That'll be what I'll look. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, cool. So, 
we had a little bit of a messy bag opening and we knew from the start that we had a piece somewhere on the floor, but Tiffany couldn't find it with a quick glance. And you don't want to spend more than 10 seconds looking because then that's more than the penalty. So we just jumped right into it with me on the edge and Tiffany doing some sorting. So also in this round are the Reuters, who are a pair's powerhouse. They won by several minutes in 2022, and they both just won their individual heats. So they were definitely the favorites going into this event. Sharing a table with them are Sarah and Lauren, who we've seen are both super fast puzzlers. And then we've also got Andrea and Dawn, the other half of Sarah and Lauren's team. Come on, stay together, stay together. <laughs> Me and the puzzle. <laughs> oh, and sharing a table with us are Kiara and Alfonso. Now, Kiara got eighth place at Worlds last year, but she lives in Germany, so she is competing unofficially. And Alfonso is the organizer behind Worlds, so they make up our unofficial international contingent. One of the things I will say about this, this is gonna be incredibly fast, everybody. So I think we can get ready for some finishers to come in. I mean, 25 minutes, I would say would be good, but I mean, we might see things coming in even quicker than that. You know, this one really plays into the strengths of busy puzzlers. I'm sure the people who love like doing a sky or a gradient are cursing our names right now because they're like, really, really? So at 16 minutes, let's check in and see how everyone is doing. I swear I could have shown this event in real time because it is going so fast. The top teams are a good two thirds of the way through, and then it only goes faster from here. Compared to the Reuters, ours isn't quite as filled in, but I felt like we were always making progress and I loved puzzling with Tiffany. We're doing great, <laughs> we're doing so great. I really feel right, pretty good right now. So as we're passing 20 minutes, the Reuters are almost done, and so are Sarah and Lauren. And honestly, we're not that far behind. And oh boy, it's tense because you just wait, you know, for somebody to yell when you're at those last couple of pieces. These last. Peace. Oh, there we go. Oh, oh, my, oh, oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. That Look might have been that. two seconds. That was so close. Oh. So another super close finish between Sarah and the Reuters. They were only four seconds apart from each other. So here's where we were at the same time. We're almost there. That feels like maybe it was a double finish. Yeah, Sarah and Lauren also just finished. <laughs> wow, that's crazy. And you know, what a change that is because 
Jean, Jean and Kathy, they came in ahead of six everybody. And six and a half minutes in the final time, last And minute. now they got to work for it. So three minutes later, Andrea and Dawn finished for third. Every single uh, piece I'm looking for is in I'm your sorry, hand. I'm sorry. <laughs> they were calling to me. We're missing uh, this one. We might just have to take the penalty. Yeah. <laughs> 28 12. Okay, Jessica and Hannah just finished, so we actually might have tied them with that penalty. Oh. <laughs> well, under 30 minutes. Under 30, yes. That was, that was so Yay. good. I loved that puzzle. Okay, oh my gosh. So we placed our second to last piece, but as we suspected, there was a piece on the floor. But while we were looking for it, Hannah and Jessa finished and they didn't have any missing pieces. So they jumped ahead of us and got fourth. So then after our 10 second penalty ran out without us finding the piece, our time was three seconds after them for fifth place, which is totally fine because all we needed was to qualify for the finals and we definitely did that. I really want to find that piece though. I know it exists because yeah. I dropped it. Oh my God, it's under Kiara. It's like by her Robin's Burger bag. Oh, maybe you're blocked from seeing it. Yeah, I don't see it. Okay, I can get it. Don't worry. <laughs> no, 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 you don't need to move. Okay, you tell me. I can get out. How did it get there? <laughs> How did this happen? <laughs> Physics? I don't know. Well, we did it. <laughs> that was good. That was good. <laughs> Okay, this was like a little overwhelming at first, but yeah. I loved it. Oh my God, we just missed. Oh, three we seconds. We would have beat them if we I gotten dropped fourth. that piece. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> we got it out of the way now, so now we're yes. not gonna do it for the for final. For the one that's much yeah. harder. <laughs> that was super fun to puzzle next to Sarah and Lauren, but yeah. also so stressful. <laughs> Jean just kept, kept going, puzzle faster, puzzle faster. <laughs> <laughs> you can see their hands out of the corner of our eyes, and I'm like, faster, faster, faster. <laughs> they were just also supportive of each other that like, I mean, a lot of people get mad about four or three seconds, yeah. but like, yeah. I'm just so happy that- I mean, the, the hugs and the high fives came out immediately. Well, we have a little change in strategy. Oh, mm -hmm. okay. Which is that we're gonna be a little more calm getting the box open. <laughs> <laughs> I may or may not have dropped a piece on the floor. The area of the carpet it was on, like almost smashed oh, the back no. of the piece, and exactly. It was, it was under someone else's chair. It oh, fell no. under <laughs> Kiara's feet. Oh, no. Karen, you have a history of that, because in 2022, oh we God. all remember the, the piece <laughs> debacle that but was it hasn't happened traumatizing. Since. No and I did that at Worlds last year, so. Oh. Oh yeah, you almost yeah, knocked we, your whole puzzle I off the table. I almost knocked the whole puzzle off That's the table. Right, That's not gonna happen this time. So let's look at the data. You can see how the Reuters and Sarah and Lauren were right next to each other. And so were Tiffany and I and Hannah and Jessa. When it goes this fast, you're gonna have a lot of very close times. So then looking at everyone, this time only one pair didn't finish. And out of 98 pairs, 70 finished in under an hour. But it's only the top 50 who move on to the final. So the time to qualify was 50-57. Okay, wait, I just had an idea. Since this puzzle went so fast, over on Patreon, I'm gonna post our full solve in real time with audio. So if you wanna get this exact puzzle, you can grab a friend and then race at Tiffany and I, and it'll be just like you were at the event. Okay, I'll have the link for where to watch that down below, but now let's move on to the second prelim. This one, oh my gosh, this one goes so fast, just wait. Five, four, three, two, one, puzzle! Do you need, no, you, no, 
funny that, oh my God, what are we doing? Dogs, cats. Do we even know what, how to puzzle? Okay, here is the puzzle for the second pair's prelim. It's also by Greg Peprocki, like the first one, but it's a slightly less busy illustration. In this round, we've got Yvonne and Evie, whose pair's name is Ponybee and Yvonicorn, and they're dressed up to match. We've also got Andrea Peng and Kelly Walter, who are a serious power pair. And sharing their table is Becca and Kelly Burr, who are also both super fast. I think this could even, I don't know if it's faster. It might be because you've got a few bigger areas of color there than the last puzzle. But, you know, it'll be interesting to see if we get anybody that beats that preliminary time from this morning. I think it was 24.15. 24.15, yes. I had to drop my horn because oh, I, we kept okay. banging each other. It's horns each other against each other. So at about 16 minutes in, Evie and Yvonne have that right side very filled in. Pretty much everyone started with that solid green and blue, but it's Kelly and Andrea who have really raced ahead. They just the, like flew through. It just appeared, yeah, like right. magically it, appeared. <laughs> at, at the end with this puzzle, it's, largely just a, like a dexterity challenge because you see the piece and you know where it goes. It's just a matter of Can you get it, it there fast there. Yeah. enough? Yep. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Oh my gosh. They're going to do it. They're going to do it. Is this the last piece? There it is. Oh my gosh. 2256. Under 2256. Wow. 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 That's a great time. 23 minutes. That's just incredible. So it was Kelly and Andrea who easily won this one at under 23 minutes. That is just amazing. But E.B. and Yvonne aren't too far behind. later, Mari and Emma finished for third. And a minute after that, Becca and Kelly get fourth. And then, look at this, we have another 10 second penalty shaking up the rankings. Only this time, they were all at the same table. That was amazing, and I'm like, I feel amazed. Really? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it, I think it was both our PRs yeah. for, for pairs. Oh, even with really? Tammy. Sorry, so, Tammy. Oh, oh sorry, <laughs> Tammy. Yeah. I think there wasn't a single day in like the last week and a half where I wasn't at Mari's house, mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. for at least three hours. <laughs> we were going hard. <laughs> We're training like 7,000, 8,000 pieces a day. Yeah. Right. Wow. It's really My roommates were like, yeah. are you traveling? Like, did you just get back from vacation? And I'm like, no, I've just been at Mars. <laughs> <laughs> So 
so you can see just how fast that one was. Look at these times, 2256. That's incredible for just two people working on it. And once again, pretty much everyone finished. It's only two pairs who didn't. And exactly like last time, 70 pairs finished in under an hour. But 50th place was a little faster than last time. You had to beat 47.43 to make it through to the finals. So then we can combine the two puzzles to see all of the finalists' finish times. And it's very flat and evenly distributed. So I think Ravensburger did a great job at choosing two puzzles of similar difficulty. So that is it for the preliminary rounds. A big congratulations to our first five winners, some of them winning by mere seconds. And then here are all five puzzles that have been used so far. So if you want to get any of them and try them for yourself, I'm going to have all of the info for where to get them down in the description. Oh, and then I also just wanted to show my new puzzle shirts because I know that my hair has gotten way too long and has been covering them up. So for pairs, Please tell me down in the comments if you get this reference, because I thought that everybody would understand it and apparently nobody did. And then for individual, I made this Mean Girls inspired shirt, which I think is so fun. <laughs> so a huge thank you once again to Ravensburger for sponsoring this video and for covering Valentina and Morgan to film the whole event. They did such an amazing job. So, okay. The Reuters beat Sarah by seconds twice. Will Sarah ever defeat them? We had a breakthrough star in Alice Rowe, but can she keep that momentum going into the finals? And will Tiffany and I drop any more pieces? You'll have to tune in to the next video to find out.